So the overall process, uh, this is the one slide we will be putting up for you as a, a takeaway, and it will also be on the Dysart and Jones website. It starts, of course, with clarity right in the middle here. Every team exists for a very unique role. If it does not have a unique role, there's a problem. And it has to be uh, producing and deliver delivering results to a particular audience, either to its organization, to a function, et cetera. And we'll talk about that. But it's really important to keep that windshield clean at the very beginning of a, a team. Having said that, when do you do this? You do it as soon as there's a new team in place. And a new team forms whenever somebody leaves or when somebody joins or when somebody within the team takes on a new role. So you do it promptly. It's never a one and done. Uh, in terms of the various steps that you take, the who. The who is the lenses, the perspectives of those people within the team. They are individuals. We may call them team members, they're individuals. Everybody has their own assumptions, their perceptions and their tendencies. Uh, we, uh, this little group here, we tend to prefer uh, things like DISC, Myers-Briggs, certainly Strengths Finders, various indicators, and that's all they are. We're not here to argue about the scientific uh, evidence behind them but various diagnostics that you can use uh, to understand your own assumptions and your colleagues' assumptions, because they will be very different and what your tendencies are, particularly in stressful situations. The next is of course the what. So this is really what you're here to do. Who's here? When do we do it? The what is putting together the plans, which are how are you going to produce this or these deliverables, for uh, the various stakeholders that you have? What are your timelines? And one of the things that I'm uh, throwing in here is that within this plan or uh, plans uh, that you're gonna have, you know, goals, tactics, et cetera, you're gonna use, uh, we encourage you to use a tool where you identify what are called the bristle points between each of the team members and perhaps the functions that they're responsible for in, uh, in uh, getting those, those tactics in place, taking those steps. One of the things that uh, these two sort of anchors down here are around how, and that is of course setting boundaries. Those are usually called norms or your uh, ground rules, et cetera. But what are the behaviors you're gonna be uh, accepting? How are you going to be meeting? We encourage you to have a look at uh, liberating structures. I'll actually put a link to liberating structures. Uh, there's various methods to use there. And the other, um, uh, what did I call these? <laughs> you guys can interrupt me, you know. Uh, the other foundational thing here is another diagnostic for the team, which is we use TCI, team diagnostics, but use any kind of valid tool to actually help you gauge where the team is right now. Everybody will have their own perspective on where the team is. Use a diagnostic to be able to show to the entire team where uh, they are saying that they are, particularly in terms of their productivity and positivity, which is the TCI uh, diagnostic. 